Okay, guys, and we're rolling here. We're talking about this fight going down at UFC Fight Night 93 in Germany. The Barclay Arena, uh, light heavyweight bout between Vader taking on Latifi. And let's just right, get right into this, guys. We're talking about Ryan Bader. Ryan Bader, born in Reno, Nevada. He is 33 years old. He's six foot two, 205 pounds, 74 inch reach. He has a wrestling and boxing background. Um, currently with Power MMA team, he is 20 and five. Um, did his NCAA wrestling at Arizona State. Okay, we'll scroll down to his record. He's coming off the loss to Anthony Johnson. Got knocked out hardcore. Uh, one minute, 26 seconds into the very first round. But prior to that, he'd been on quite a roll. Rashad Evans win, Phil Davis win, OSP win. And uh, he had a five-fight winning streak. But keep in mind, those five victories he had, all by decision. Um, and actually, if you go down to six of his last seven victories have been decision. The only stoppage he had was against Vladimir Matoshenko, uh, submission guillotine choke, 50 seconds into the very first round. That was back in January 2013. So, no finishes in his recent history. Let's go take a look at Latifi. And he has been on a roll, guys. Um, Three-fight win streak. As we scroll down to look at his record. Um, victory at UFC 196 decision. Prior to that, his two victories were KO victories in the very first round. Another thing we need to look at is the times of these victories. Um, or just these fights in general. Um, the last fight was a decision, but before that... His fights went 30 seconds, 56 seconds, a minute 58, 207, and 302. Got to bring into question his cardio, right? Um, obviously, his last fight at UFC 196, he went the distance, but I think that might be an issue here. Um, let's just run down his stats. I jumped over that. Uh, born in Sweden, nicknamed the Sledgehammer. 5'10", 205 pounds, 73-inch reach. Career record is 12, 4, and 1 in MMA. And yeah, he's um, he's had a very good career. Now, I'm seeing a lot of predictions here, and a lot of people are really liking to go with the underdog uh, Latifi here. And if he's going to win this fight, I think it's going to happen early in the first round. And... Uh, He's going to get a quick finish on Bader, but I'm going to go with Ryan Bader. And the reason I'm going to go with Ryan Bader is he's consistent. He is a great wrestler. I believe he has the better wrestling in this matchup. And you got to believe that uh, Bader's going to impose his will for three rounds and get the victory. We'll head on over to the MMA betting odds. And this is something interesting. This is the stats from Five Dimes. So when the fight was originally announced, March the 4th, the odds were minus 265. Um, then a lot of money came in on Latifi. And you see the major jump up there to uh, minus 190. And since then, though, it's been trending back down, um, which means there's been a lot of money um, coming in on Let's see, Wednesday, August 17th was the ultimate low at minus 275. Now it's popped up a little bit. It's sitting at minus uh, 250. So if you want to get in on Ryan Bader, this may be the time uh, to do it because uh, lay down $250, you win 100 bucks. Um, okay, so this is my prediction video. Really, like I said before, I see Ryan Bader just grinding out the victory for all three rounds. Obviously, Latifi could come in there and knock him out. Bader is coming off the devastating loss to Anthony Johnson, but I got to go with, I think the odds are in the favor of Ryan Bader getting this win and getting back on a roll. Okay, guys, thanks for checking out another video. Hit me up on Twitter, Radio MMA, 
and please head on over to my YouTube account and subscribe. It's www.radiomma.com. Thanks.